What's up everyone? The final chapter of my Pseudo Eagle, and that is replicating the JCF preamp that's in the real Super Eagle. So I finally done that. I, I optimized the layout and I shrunk it down to this really small footprint that could fit in, well, it fits in this guitar, but it also could fit in many other guitars. Um, you're gonna find this available on Reverb uh, right now. So you can go check out Reverb. I'll put the link below. I am gonna include, you'll notice that there's these two holes in here. There's gonna be two uh, four millimeter holes for standoffs so you, with adhesive back, so you can attach it to the inside of your guitar without it flopping around. Uh, it's pretty nice. The, the treble boost is still there. Everything about the real Super Eagle JCF preamp is um, part of the circuit. And because you know I go to the nth degree, making sure that the signal path is genuine compared to the original, it is. It's got the same um, op amp in here. It's got the same Wemo capacitors. All, all, all of the same uh, in a smaller footprint and available to you. Uh, JCF, at this time, uh, JCF and PRS does not sell these directly to the public. Um, you may say that that might be copyright infringement, but because I did my own layout, uh, that makes it into a whole new category of my own artwork. So here you go. Um, and now it's available to you. Uh, thank you for the uh, Super Eagle owner that helped me um, re reverse engineer this. It's a big shout out without him. Uh, or her, uh, this would not be possible. So uh, just big shout out to you. We have the guitar going through a Mugami low capacitance cable. Why do I mention that? Well, this Mugami low capacitance cable is supposed to maintain the high end of your guitar tone. Um, if you know, um, if you've been researching or looking at cables, the quality of the cable does make a difference for the tone preservation coming out of your guitar. Um, why this is kind of important to note is that the Super Eagle buffer, um, you're still gonna hear a difference. Even though with a low um, capacitance cable, a high quality cable, there's still gonna be some tonal difference. Um, and that's important because that makes basically this whole thing worth it. We're going through a Klon buffer on my uh, circuit board here, or my pedal board, sorry. And then from the pedal board, it's going into a Victoria Reverberado uh, just like Mayer and Dead & Company. And then out of the re uh, reverberado, just for uh, reverb, we're going into the front end of a J-Mod, a 2017, early 2017 model uh, J-Mod, and that's important. We'll get into a later video, but they did change the tone stack a little bit. But anyway, so from the pictures, I can tell from early 2017, I think, with my best educated guess, these settings and what I hear out of the reverberado this is all pretty representative of a stripped down uh, pedal board. So you're gonna really hear the, the difference in, in the tone, uh, or some people may say there's no difference. Uh, and that's what the argument is in the comments below. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, yeah, check out my reverb listing. I can put the link in the description and we're gonna get to some more tones. It's not gonna be heavily overdone. I just really wanna kinda illustrate that there is a difference and just with the you know minimal amount of uh, Grateful Dead tones I got, <laughs> I can I know how to play. Um, hopefully you can hear a difference too. I'm really enjoying this. I think it's literally the last thing. The the middle pickup on this guitar is a dual sound uh, pickup, and then the neck and the bridge are stock PRS that came with the CE24. Um, I have the middle pickup, which is probably going to be used most with this. I'm going to roll the tone on and off. It's a pretty bright pickup and it's equally bass heavy. So it's a really fun pickup to play. It's very Jerry inspired. It's not so much Mare, although I have a conspiracy theory that one of the uh, guitars, I think in 2019, was a um, middle pickup of the dual sound. But anyway, that's my conspiracy theory. I'll, I'll, I'll play around with it. You tell me what you think below. Before I go, uh, here is a diagram. I am gonna include it digitally uh, on my blog, thetonegeek.com, and I'll also include one of these in every purchase, so you can have some guidance on how to wire yours. You don't have to do it 100%. You can have an always-on treble boost uh, in your guitar. You can have an always-on uh, buffer as well in your guitar and stuff it in there, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, maybe that's how Honey, John Mayer's Honey is, I don't know. Um, no one really knows, but that'd be cool to find out someday. But anyway, wanted to give that a big uh, shout out here. So 
along with the buffer, you get two standoffs and a wiring diagram.